uh, well, just like that we're uh, back in chamois country. It's the uh, 15th of January and it feels like summer's only just turned up. She's a scorcher today, there's a uh, big fat high sitting over the South Island it seems to be here for a few days so I just sort of make the most of that and um, get in for a chamois hunt. Bought the, uh, bought the bow along and the camera so I don't know how exciting it's going to get but we'll see. Um, now looking forward to a good walk around. Um, yeah she's a scorcher. Definitely need to have the old dad hat on today and the old uh, safety glasses. Ain't no cool points coming my way but unfortunately it's the only pair of sunnies I can find that will uh, wrap around a bloody beach ball so um, yeah they go good. So yeah we've um, got two nights, two and a half days just been dropped in the tops by the machine and then I'm going to walk out a uh, fair way and then get picked up further down the valley so see what we see, we'll set up a camp now and hopefully things will start moving. Good shit. Okay, one thing you'll notice the camera is a wee bit different this time too. I don't know, it might be a bit shaky or something but the iPhones decided to pack a shit. Um, I've done basically all the videos on an iPhone so far but it's decided to pack a shit with the audio so I've got the the Sony out that I usually take photos with and we're gonna have a crack at filming with that. Um, the quality is quite a bit different but um, it's obviously not a not a bad thing seeing all this in 4K. Mm, yeah, so I do apologise, but yeah, hopefully we can capture some good footage and yeah, come along for the walk. Oh well, that's the old uh, the old Hilton setup. Just the um, Huntec Bibby. I used to rate them um, back when they were with New Zealand made gear it seemed to have been uh, made a lot better this is the Chinese version and I've lost most of the domes and the, some of the corners are ripped and that sort of thing and it gets a bit sticky trying to put the pole through the sleeve there I asked them about that actually and they just um, the guy suggested that you just get a bit of talcum powder and stick it in your hole but I'll be sticking any talcum powder in my hole that's for sure so I'll just deal with the deal with the friction for now but yeah, it's just a shelter tonight. Whoever was the last bastard that used it left me shy a few pegs, so I hope she doesn't get any get windy tonight. I say the last bastard was me, but idiot. About a <coughs> hundred metres from my camp, just sitting up on this ledge here, looking down into this awesome wee head basin here. Um, I've usually camped down the bottom of it, but it's always been tricky because I've centered it up. So I thought this time we'd get above it. But before any, uh, any hunting or proper glassing happens, we uh, better stick to um, ritual. Good fortune is among us. I don't, not sure I've seen them. Thought they would have been key, but people keep telling me that they're almost extinct. Yeah, you rowdy bastard. Bad as paradise ducks about giving away my secret posies. Rowdy things. No, I love seeing them. They were awesome birds. Stay away from my tent. Bastards. It's a bit of a shame when there's always consequences when you feed yourself such treats that the uh, I always get a, a gap in my a mole right at the back there and you always get a bloody piece of labia or something stuck right in the back I can never get it out but I think it's well worth it delicious oh, we've just um, spotted our first shimmies shimmies, shimmies um, I've been sitting here for about 40 minutes. Don't know if you can see them on the screen or not, but they've yeah, been sitting here for about 40 minutes and um, just spotted two. Looks like a horn rock doe and a, a younger doe, possibly. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Most ginger animals pretty easy. They stand out quite well on this sort of stuff.
issues I don't think I'll ever get over it but I really really enjoy the bow hunting so the rifle stay behind and we've just got to get a bit sneakier that's good fun bloody good fun bloody rookie mistake that was just watching all the, the bushes just just down below me I went 20 meters over there just to look over the lip I sat there for about 15 minutes. Turn around and start walking back up slowly as soon as I turn my back. Bruh. Bike blew out from below me. And he kept whistling at me, bouncing up the other side over there. He was real out of it looking. Bike one almost forked and one was straight up, but they both looked about 10 inches long. He looked real old in the face, too. I didn't have to spot or anything on me because I was down off the edge there, but Bloody Girl was only about 100 metres away. I'm just going to go slowly. The wind's still coming up nice. I'm going to go nice and slow. But I'll head back on the other side of camp now for a bit of a look. Sort of working my way back towards camp. Um, I spot another four Chevy just below me, about 150 metres away. Looks like two does and two young ones. They seem quite spooky though. Don't want to settle it all, so I might just leave them and carry on back up the other side of camp and have a look at that big head basin I was looking at earlier on. Days wearing on, it's up past seven now. Haven't seen a huge amount of chamois. Seen one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just got another one. Looks like a young one with just little wee hooks just down below me, about 200 meters. But there's still a good hour, maybe even hour and a half of glass and light left. So we'll just Hold tight. The camp's only 100 metres away. I don't really want to go sturgeon down into this country below me because it's our uh, direction of travel tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we'll just hold tight and see what comes out tonight. Pretty epic, about 100 metres from my camp. <laughs> I've got one to, I've got like seven chamois just below me here. 
There was a doe and a young one that I was watching for a wee while and filming and then she smelt me and started whistling. And then um, I didn't realise, but shit, even closer to me, maybe 30, 40 metres away, there was another five chamois just over a little ridge. And they were spooked up below me and I was trying to quickly get some footage of them, but they were just bolting. Once you hear that doe, she's still whistling at me now, but that was epic. Really enjoy that close quarters stuff. Oh well, it's um, 20 past nine now. I'm just heading back to camp. The sun's just going behind the hill and um, temperature's dropping flat out, so getting a wee bit nippy. But what a cool, cool evening that's been. Oh, uh, haven't covered too much ground. Seen quite a few animals. Only the one buck. Sounds a wee bit interesting. But still really enjoyable. Oh well, what a choice evening that was. I've seen uh, be just over 20 chamois I'd say. Lots of does with young ones. Um, a fair bit of horn rot which is a bit of a shame um, and I've just seen that one wonky buck which I didn't actually capture on camera because he spooked when he seen me he seen me first uh, but yeah, cool fun bloody amazingly calm night real calm it's uh, quarter to ten now still pretty light I'm just about to tuck into a uh, a uh, greasy what do you call them one of those bad boys butter chicken a ball in a bag. That was good, the old go native. So yeah, we'll tuck into that. And then uh, climb in the scratcher and tomorrow will be another day. Looking forward to it. Plan to drop down into that main catchment we're looking at this afternoon and down into the main valley and yeah, hunt some creeks. Pretty exciting. Oh, well, it's a absolutely stunning morning. It's about past six now, and it is just so still, so calm. I was actually like it all night, to be honest. Yeah, oh, it's just so nice to be up in the hills when it's like this. Might fire up a coffee, do a wee bit of glassing, and then, uh, yeah, make a plan from there. It's just about to fire up a brew. I'm just sitting right by the, right by the tent. It's a shame he's just walked up about 200 metres away. Looks like a, I don't know, it could be a young old scary looking doe with no horns. A young old, hmm, makes a lot of sense. An old doe, an old scary doe is, with no horns. But we'll see what it does. Keep an eye on it. So I just confirmed that um, chamois near camp was a buck with a horn rock or something. Going to have a crack with the boat. So I've seen about 160 from him now. This is crazy. Oh well, I've been found. About 80 metres away. <laughs> Don't know if you can see him, but they just see him whistling at me. In my sight, it's unbelievable. Okay, <laughs> good fun. Worst thing ever could have happened. <laughs> I'm 40 metres from a chamois. Just had a shot and the string caught on my rangefinder hanging on my front and it fucking derailed it. Oh god. Well, they don't all go to plan, do they? Everything's been sweet so far, it's been buddy. The weather's been nice. Plenty of chamois around. That was extremely frustrating. I just um, put it.
put a stalk on a buck. He looked to be around that nine inch mark, but um, I was keen to take him with the bow. I was only a couple hundred metres from camp. Um, put a stalk on him, got within 40. Was really comfortable with the shot. Um, got everything all ready. Ranged him, boom, 41.2 or something. Drew back, sort of a steep downhill shot, not too steep. Leant forward to take the shot, didn't realise that this had gone in amongst my strings. Bang, fired the shot off and I bloody derailed the bow. God, it's frustrating, the arrow flew off somewhere, I don't know where, but I'm only on day one of, a, of the trip, still had another couple of days. I don't know what to do now. It's really frustrating. Right, we have had a bit of a plan change. It's taken a bit of uh, overcoming shit for me to do this, but I've left the bow behind. Obviously useless to me. I've left it there in a red bag and I'm going on a photo mission. So I'm going to stay in here. Uh, I'm not going to fly out early. Text the pilot let him know what I'm up to. So uh, yeah, For those of you that um into killing shit, I'd say you tune out now. The rest of you that might want to see some cool up close photos and videos and that of some shambinis, hang around, we'll see what happens. Still feels pretty weird cruising around this country the, um, without a weapon. I have my new weapon at the camera. Um, this thing can see me down below me now. A couple of hundred meters away, so I'll put a stalk on those and see what happens. It'd be one of those things if I come across a real good buck. It'd be pretty disappointing, but then again, a good photo is just as good a trophy, I reckon. So, yeah. Quite weird, but I'm quite excited about it. Hmm. Oh well, didn't quite work out as planned. It ended up being about 10 metres from where I last saw it and um, I got within 5 metres of it and it spooked. The problem is it, it ran out to about 100 before it stopped for some photos. So as a bugger it was a pretty hard stalk instead of doing it for the last hour. Anyway, I got a couple of photos and some video and um, the other mob that I've been watching hasn't spooked and some flags coming down below me and they're in amongst that. So, um, assuming this one I've just, just spooked now doesn't run down there and spook them off, I might better sneak in on these buggers and hopefully get up close. Yeah. thought that they had gone so I was sort of in where I'd last seen them and just assumed that they'd moved on because of that other shame of the I spoke man down here and I don't know turns out they were still laying there I was with about well, less than 10 metres away and she they jumped up and spooked and they all bloody took off didn't even get anything on camera this time would have been some real cool photos and I've missed though they were close enough for them still to be nice and crisp and clear and the fog behind them would have been awesome but oh well fuck it i seem to have more success when i'm trying to kill the fucking thing if they don't take the photos and if someone could just pass that message on to them that i'm not actually trying to hurt them did you buddy nice going having all the all the hands spare not carrying a weapon got the uh camera goes in the side bag so I got all my hands free, it's actually nice clambering around this sort of shit. This steep nasty stuff with an extra hand. So 
actually taking me a wee bit longer to get down that side creek than usual. There's lots of this stuff going on. It sort of changed its course quite a bit and you scout out a whole lot of areas. So it's made it pretty hard going. Don't know how you get on getting up there. Get down there, okay? Yeah, just about at the main creek now, I might stop there a bite deep. Oh, well, just crossing the main flow and I thought it was going to be pretty straightforward, like, I wasn't even going to get wet boots, but I got a wee bit more than I bargained for. I up real good. I think camera and stuff's going to be alright, but I'm wet. Still part of the event today. I guess being solo like this, you want to take things real carefully. Yeah, cool me down. Getting on now, it's about 11. I actually haven't even had any breakfast. Um, sort of all got a wee bit distracted this morning with talking to the sham and breaking the bow and then trying to work out what I was going to do. And then, yeah, starting to feel the fatigue kicking now and legs feel a bit wobbly and the brain starts making stupid decisions. Pretty partly why I asked over in the creek back there. So it's pretty important to keep fueled start making stupid decisions and this sort of shit the uh, consequences can be pretty bad so I'm just going to get up around this face here up around through here and then uh, park up at a spot that I know is flat sort of a couple hundred metres down here and have some lunch yeah. yeah I love these west coast creeks and shit this one here in particular gorges out quite bad and you gotta climb up around the gorge. The bush is horrible. But luckily this one isn't too bad, but I don't know, there's another one I gotta do. This afternoon it's a, it's a three or four hour job you to get around it. Big gorge is nowhere down the creek and then uh, yeah you just gotta push around the side. Ugh. That's the big gorge that just cruised around there. Um, ended up just coming through bashing through this shit up here. It looks and doesn't look too bad there, but it's pretty horrible. I think here's as good a spot as any to stop. It's um, not far off that big gorge and it's a nice settled area there. Quite a cool waterfall there. But um, yeah, no, I'm feeling pretty shattered, so I will rehydrate and um, have some food. In the haste of packing for this trip, it was a little bit rushed um, and forgot my, my cheats crackers. I've got a bit of. Um, a bit of Mary Ann here and my cheese. Um, I just have to go without the cheese, I think. Also, these uh, picked peanut butter slugs that seem to be the go at the moment. They're actually a wee treat, they're bloody nice. I've already had two on this trip, so I've got, I've got heaps in the back. And these are a massively good sugar hit. Uh, here you go, you go native buggers. They're actually awesome when you are feeling a bit drowned. Smash one of these and uh, yeah, within a few minutes you're, you're back on the go again. So I'll have my lunch and then I'll smash this and we'll get back on the road. Do a can of tuna as well. Pretty good tucker. Holy heck, look at this for a treat. Bit of uh, cheese salami and some, some tuna. Bloody keto, eat your heart out. Yeah. Mm. How you enjoy that one, Cam? <laughs> He's got a pet hate of me filming myself eating. I imagine he's not the only one, but I don't care. I enjoy eating. Sometimes I watch myself eating. That's weird. I don't actually do that. This is a scramble out of the bush and you can go around another gorge. One thing I have noticed is the, the fifth time I've been into this area, and every time it's been around the summertime, so November, December, January. Um, but every time the the routes or the routes have been all pretty similar, except for this year, then there's been some serious rain um, on the west coast this um, last few months because I noticed some massive changes throughout this valley. 
like big big boulders that have moved areas that have moved and just it makes it it's a bit tougher going actually so i'm just amazed at how much water's come down like i'm pretty sure and i'm gonna look back over photos but if you look at where the river is down there there's the river there and up on this big rock slab beside me that rock was always there but that bit of driftwood was never there i'm gonna check some photos when i get home but i'm pretty sure that that has come down in a flood and got stuck up there which is <laughs> crazy rookie again now well, i don't know how to help that one just aimlessly wandering around in the middle of the day middle of the heat and there was a chamois buck standing right there I can't he just jumped down on this rock. Looked at me, bolted. Oh. I think it had horns, hard to tell, but I just made me trying to get the camera out of the thing, hoping it would stop. But um, hard case though, middle of the day. I guess I need to prepare myself for these encounters to get further down. That is still my favourite part of the valley. Epic gorge. The cool thing is, there's actually a track around the side there. Not really a track, but you sort of clamber in amongst the rocks. Pretty epic. It's like it's a path made for humans. Come down there, down there, and along there to here, and then you just clamber up here, and then you're up. To apologise on this hunt is because <clears throat> I'm obviously solo hunting. There's just lots of selfie filming and not a lot of uh, filming someone else crossing a river or that sort of thing. So you just have to deal with that. Lots of my noggin really. Yeah, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but yeah, we're just carrying on stooging down this creek. And uh, it's got another real ugly gorge we're going to try and climb up around. Oh, maybe half, uh, K and a half down here. So, yeah, weather's nice. Bloody warm. I'm not expecting to see much this month. Far out, that's a massive eye opener. So this clearing just here. So that used to be, that used to extend way down the river, probably another. Another 150 metres, there's a big flat clearing, used to camp on it, you could land a helicopter on it. Gone. The whole clearing's gone. The creek must have come up horrendous, it would have been so cool to see. We've just um, climbed up out of the main creek now. Yeah, it's gorgeous out, another 100 metres down it, so you can't actually crop past this one, so you've got to climb way up in the bush maybe, well way up, maybe 500 metres up, go across and then back down again, it's a bit of a ship to be honest, but um, you know, it opens up some more valley further down, so I'm just up in the bush and I just found a wee spot to park up, going to uh, have a couple of snacks, take a poo, and then uh, I might even have a wee nap because it's still quite, well, it's 2 o'clock now, I don't really want to be down there till sort of maybe five. So yeah, poo time and then nap time, I think. <coughs> These coffees are pretty nifty. This is the second one I've had. Um, I just tried to make one just then and I put the little sachet in there thinking it's real cool and then knocked my fucking cup off and it all tipped off down the bank. Picked my sachet up though, it was just the coffee I fucking lost everywhere. But yeah, this is the last one for the trip. There's no coffee tomorrow morning. <clears throat> I think I slept for maybe an hour off and on. Woke up with cold feet. That's right. I think I might just saddle up again and climb up and over around this gorge. Get on the other side. Yeah. I recall last time we Stooging through the bush in here, we've bumped into a few chamois in the bush, deep in the bush. So, if the wind's right, I might be able to see something in the bush. So, that's pretty cool. That's where I end up uh, shooting that buck with the bow. 
in the bush but on the other side. So that's pretty cool. that I've used before was a beautiful terrace right here, nice grassy spot and amongst some scrub. Awesome campsite. And it's gone. I still can't get over there. It's just gone. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, I'm gonna try and scrounge it somewhere else to run it up again. Got a camp set up. Only flat spot I could find. Looked over there, but that's all just flood stuff. Pretty horrible. Yeah, now that my terrace is gone, this is about the only spot, but unfortunately it's sort of right in sight of where I want to go. Tonight I want to head up there and uh, have a bit of a stooge around, but I gotta wait for this wind to change. Let's go do. Yeah, camp set up. side of it into this main creek down here. If you're on hike, I thought I'd sleep well tonight. It's been a long day. Just back at camp now. I've got a, got a brew on. Beef casserole tonight. Should be good. Um, it's after 9.30 now. The sand flies are getting me. But yeah, the uh, last half of the day was pretty dull to be honest seen a couple of distant chamois and then not much else. Um, yeah, definitely the most action up in the top. Uh, it's been pretty quiet since I dropped down, but oh well, it's the style of hunting I've chosen to do, so yeah, tuck into this and tuck into the sleeping bag and have another crack in the morning before I get picked up. Slips on the way, and then uh, get a proper pick up at 10. Yeah, so let's go for a bit of a stooge. One of the side creeks is going to go up. It's just here. And the main rivers come round and just walk all those out in the real bed. And, uh, I can't get up at the moment, that's why I go for a swim. It's that deep blue stuff. Which is a bit of a shame, it's a good hunt up there. Slip up there with about 250 metres away. And the access to it is a big 
Oh well, I think that's me all done and dusted. Overall, it's been a pretty frustrating trip. You know, the, the cock up with the bow at the start, and then um, yeah, I just haven't had really haven't had the opportunities with the camera. I guess all the animals I saw at the start. If I had had the camera in my hand, then I would have got some cracking photos. But I was concentrating on the bow and everything else, and yeah. Anyway, you can't win them all. Still enjoyed another trip into the into the coast. The weather's actually been stunning. So you don't have to get that for a few days in a row out here. Anyway, um, hopefully the chop will be here soonish.